Jack's Quick Fire Challenge is a top chef favorite. <laughs> the mise en place race. In order to determine your teams, you must first draw knives. Uno. Uno. Two. Yes, Sheldon. Two is my lucky number. For starters, you're going to peel and then mince. Mince? Five ounces of garlic. Two, finely dicing two quarts of onions. Properly turn three artichokes, peel and devein 30 shrimp, and shucking 15 clams. No shell, no splitting the bellies. The clams are my friends, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> During my last Miss Plus race, I said, yeah, I'll do the clams. And then it's when I realized that I don't know how to pay clams. Chris and I will choose an MVP from the winning team. And that MVP will receive immunity in the elimination challenge. Right now, each team has two minutes to delegate which chef takes on each mise en place task and which two chefs will cook with your mise en place. Onions, onions. Artichokes. Who's cooking? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. cooking. I'm ready to compete. I can perform under stress that is top chef, so I volunteer to cook. Anybody else want to cook? Cook. <laughs> I cook. Okay. All right, you two yes. cook. Yes. We cook. Shrimp. Shrimp. I want shrimp. Roll shrimp out. All right. One, two, three. All right, I'll cook. John, so she has never done clams like that before. All right, I'll open clams. Yes. Yeah. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah. Okay. You'll have 25 minutes to complete all of your mise en place tasks and make your dish. Oh, come on. There'll be no cooking until all the tasks are fully completed. When you finish your task, you can hop on another task to help your teammate. And I forgot to mention one thing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the team that completes all its mise en place first. You get to run over to the opposite team side and hit their button. This forces the other team to pause for three minutes. Oh. Wow. Best of luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. And your time starts now. Let's go, Green. Oh, my god. Go, go. Sean's already got one clam completed. He's finishing number two right now. Look at Katsuji. I know. Starting as a young chef, my first duty was in Mexico, chopping 50 pound bags of onions, five of those every day. So the first person to check on my team, it's obviously me. Check, check. Katsuji is so friggin' fast. You're not full. To the top, to the top. I've got Sheldon flying pretty quickly Jeez, over here. Fly. Mise en place challenges are my favorite. I consider myself a line cook still, and I know I can dice onions like a mother. No, for sure, it's shake. No, 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 tilt that thing up. Shake. Okay. One. Clear. Can I help somebody else? Come on, BJ, let's do this. Check. Not only is Sheldon done, his station's clean. Yeah, yeah, Sheldon, Sheldon. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Chop. I love Sheldon already. With the two of us working on this, we are knocking it out. I'm almost there. Jack! Let's work on the clams, maybe. You're clear, 100%. Thank you. Come on, clams. We gotta get these clams over. work on the clams. Check, check. Okay, clear. Got Suji. See if Sylvia needs a hand. Looking oh good, God. Sylvia, looking good. That's the Italian stallion right there. Oh. Check. We're clear here. Clams, clams. What do we do if we have zero time to do anything? Check, check, check. Woo! Yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. Clear. So what we have is garlic, onions, and artichokes. We're waiting on shrimp devein and shucking clams. Sheldon, we need clams, too. Clams are Good work, Johnny. Good work, Johnny. Sheldon, to me, is MVP because he's clean, and he never stopped helping anybody. It's good CG from that, too. It's the same thing. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Do any of you have a clam chucker? Nice and easy, Johnny. No shells. Do you need help on shrimp? No. Check. Check. Right here. Check. That is some beautiful mise en place shrimp if I've ever seen it, chef. Casey's clear. Woo! Oh, garlic in my eyeball. All right. He's clear. Yes. Clear on shrimp. Where are we at, John? Three now. Four more clams. Two more. Two more. Two more, guys. Who's going to finish the clams first? Come in. Come in. You got this, Silva. You got this. 
I spent five and a half years working at Jean Georges. So I know I can open some clams, but the other guy opening clams owns like a seafood restaurant. So <laughs> open, clean it, trade me. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. It's really just a neck and neck race right up to the very last second. John is fast in those plates. I got this. Check. No. Check. Check. No. There is no way those clams are clean. They're clear. We're gonna, we're gonna have to hold. They're clear. We're good. One clam left. Oh my god! Yes! Go, go, go. We have to stop. We just lost three minutes. We got this, guys. What's the plan? Stop clams. Stop clams. Love it. Grab me a cream, will you? Cream, wait. Where's my shells? Over here, thank you. Where's that clam juice? Three minutes head start, not a bad place to be. We have the clams being sauteed. We add a little bit of spice, fresh herbs over the top, toast the breadcrumbs and butter, and basically we're broiling the clams until we get a nice golden brown crust. Ten seconds left before you guys can start cooking. You guys are going to have about 12 minutes. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Check. Check. Nice job, Silva. He's clear. Right. Woo! They're go, clear. Cook, 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 guys, cook. She just pushed Sam out of the way. <laughs> I think with 12 minutes, frying the clams and the shrimp is really the only way to go. It's kind of a frantic race to get something on a plate at this point. Onions and garlic also, yeah? Don't worry, don't worry, I got it. Protein's frying. Wait, wait, wait. We have a fryer. You can't go with that fryer. <laughs> Amanda's running around like crazy woman. Five minutes. I think Sam and Amanda will have a little bit of trouble when it comes to time management. Can you go, Way to come back, way to come back. Green team, want to take a look at a winning dish? Amanda, leave it to the last second. All right. Amanda, just let it sit, let it sit. Let it sit. It's all right, let her come in. Yes. Right here, baby. Boom. Beautiful. Count it down for these girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Ladies, yeah. Ladies. Jamie, this isn't kale like 2014. You're the worst person. Hello, hello, how you doing? Good, Hi, guys. Good. Hi. What do you have here? It's a stuffed clam effect, fresh herbs, a little fresh chili, clam juice, and the diced up shrimp. You can squeeze the fresh lemon on there. I grew up in New England, so baked stuffed clams were my childhood. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, bud. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Well. Nice job, Thank guys. Cheers. Thank you, Good job, guys. Hi, guys. guys. How are you? Hi, how, how are you? Chef. What did you make? Fried clam bellies and shrimp with a salad of shaved artichoke. And who conceived of this dish? Um, we actually had a different dish, and when we knew that we would have less than 15 minutes, we changed. We were going to poach, and then we decided to do a quick switch and fry. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank nice you. job over here. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Oh, my God. Good job. <laughs> How do you think our chefs did, Chris? I think they did really well. I have to say, starting with the green team, I really love the acidity and the way that the shrimp and clams were cooked. Blue team, you guys had a three minute deficit. I was really impressed with how you came back from that. You know, the belly of the clam is actually my favorite. And I really liked the raw artichoke as a counterpart to that fry. And the winning team is team blue. Yes. Awesome, guys. Yeah.